Okay, part two, how to protect your electronics. As you can probably see, I have a lot of electronics. <laughs> All sorts of bits and pieces. Now, you get one that's sound. All right, you can look too, mate, you can look too. Got a, got a bin tonight. Not my only one, but anyway. These are pretty cool too. Back, get rid of those now. Now, what we want is a metal surface that's sealed because all of the energy that comes in through this magnetic pulse thing, which is what it is, uh, will dissipate over the surface. So you want something that seals pretty tight. And you can look at these. Ooh, take that off later. Push that down. That's pretty sealed. You can actually put duct tape around it or whatever. But what you want is a non-conductive surface on the inside. So I bought a cheap moving blanket from Bunnings. I don't know if I should say that. So what I'll do with that is I'll push that inside. Right. And when I fill this up with whatever electronics I want, I'll fold that back on top and put the lid back on. Because obviously the lid won't go on. What are you doing, mate? Um, lid won't go on, obviously, with this on the outside. So I'll fold that back in on itself. So I won't do it neatly now. But things like, for me, this is my, that's a complete ham radio kit. And I've got long wires, big explanations. You don't have to have vertical antennas. You just have to know how to tune a long wire. And I could be anywhere in Australia and I can talk all around the world with this little setup. Now most of this is not going to fry, but that's the ham radio. I want that in there. That's one of the batteries, lithium. What's that, 12 and a half? Uh, that's only a seven and a half amp hour. That'll run that radio for hours and hours and hours. I do have um, bigger batteries, which I don't know if that'll fit in there. Hang on. This is, I don't know if you can see this. That's a 100 amp hour lithium battery with Anderson plugs, um, cigarette lighter. Now the problem with this is it's not that the battery necessarily will fly, fry. Um, what it is, is that it's got electronics in there to manage the battery. So I've got solar panels uh, and things like that that'll um, basically uh, uh, recharge it. I've got a generator in my little van which will also recharge it because I've got a plug-in thing for lithium batteries. And you've got to have the right charges for lithium batteries or you ruin them. Um, in here, I've got a uh, well, Kindle. That seems like a weird thing to have, but there's a lot of books in there on how to do everything in survival. <laughs> so I just charge that little sucker up. I've got a 20,000 amp hour, uh, you know, uh, power brick. Um, in there, I've got more radios. Because uh, I use CB and I use ham. I've got multiple, there's a, a Mac there, there's a laptop over there. I'll throw them all in there tonight. And also even a strawberry pie, just in case. And why that? Because I can run that off just a power brick or something like that, because uh, I have a USB monitor, um, which doesn't need mains power, but then you can always use, you know, inverters and things like that. But this is the basic thing. Just have something that, that gives you a bit of separation from the actual metal, and, uh, and this metal will absorb the, uh, the uh, incoming energy, because it is that, it's electrical energy, and, uh, and basically you need a separation between this. So what will happen is when I put all that back in there, and put this on top, when the energy hits, it's gonna hit this and dissipate over the top of it, and there's a separation between the other things in there. You could even go to the point where if you want to, I think people wrap things in foil and stuff like that, you could do that. But this is good enough to protect your phones, and I, I have extra phones, so, you know, I'm not gonna, more than likely, the internet won't work if it was that bad. The cell networks won't work, or they will for a while if they're hardened enough, which they're probably not. 
and um, and basically they have batteries that will run those towers even if there's no power. But if everything overloads, and that's all this is, it's just a, a big surge of energy. So you think about your surge protectors, they're not quick enough. They won't kick in fast enough to protect your devices. So have everything unplugged. That's, not, that's really important. Take the batteries out of everything that has a battery. Can't do that with a phone. Well, not the new phones anyway, pity. You know, in the old days you could. Put it all in there and theoretically the energy will hit that, separate around it. It's called the Faraday cage, look it up. And this is the easiest, cheapest way to do a Faraday cage. I think that was about 50 bucks or 55 bucks at Bunnings. The blanket was about $10. Um, you probably don't have time tonight to run out and grab one. But, you know, I don't know when this is meant to happen, but either way, have these things ready. Um, you know, because I'm gonna try and, I don't know if this will fit in there, let's see, this will be interesting. Oh, okay, all right, there you go. So that will actually fit in there. So my power source, and I've got multiple ways to recharge this power source. So I've got a, a little 700 watt um, Jenny, and uh, I've got a, a 20 amp hour um, charger that's made for lithium. I can plug that in the Anderson ports. That will charge it within about three to four hours. Otherwise, I've got a couple of 200 watt panels. And then with your solar, that, that's different too. PWE, I think it is, is, uh, is, is much slower, but then you've got the MWPT, I think it is. And those ones are much quicker, which I do have one of those too. So I can put the two um, uh, uh, 200 watters, get 400 watts rocking in, and probably get it up to about 12, 13, 14 amps. If it's higher than that, even better. But you know, it's all about the amps, not the watts. So you know, don't worry about the watts. You know, it's how many amps you can pull down because the amp hours is what charges it quicker. Um, but that's the quick, easy way to protect your devices. So tonight, I'll just chuck it all in here. And if shit happens, it happens, you know? If it doesn't, great. But in the future, if shit happens, you know what to do. Hang on. Say goodnight, Snout. Say goodnight, mate.